All right, guys, we're back again. I actually debated heavily leaving in my failure there, but I think it's actually interesting enough. I don't know. It's going to be someone who just starts and goes like, the guy fucking failed already. What the fuck? No, uh, but like, I think it was uh, a combination of the, some of the changes in 16 later on with regards to belt optimizations. And also, I wasn't fast enough at the beginning, so we're going to we're gonna definitely fix that up. Uh, so just showing you my settings again. Um... Uh, like I'm not like luckily I don't have to explain a whole lot and the other thing to take into account here is um, I, I'm gonna fast forward mostly everything this is gonna be so it could be like a, a montage episode because you guys already know how I do things so so instead of doing that I'm gonna have like a actual seed that I use here and this is actually the original seed that this was originally meant to use so I will say that um the oil being right next to you is actually not 100% necessary. Um, that can be a little bit further away. Uh, this just happened to be one that had that. The thing that's important is a nice big iron patch, another iron patch near it, and then coal. That's like kind of close-ish. Uh, and then you can see I have some stone there, a little more stone here, right on top of a base. But, I mean, it's accessible, and that's all that matters. And uh, kind of all I want. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do a lot of fast-forwarding, so... Uh, no more meme videos. Uh, no more memeing right now. Uh, or, or whatever, however I was starting this shit. Uh, nope, we're 100% serious now. Alright, uh, uh, stay tuned. Fast forwarding. Alright, so I've gotten my uh, red science going again, and I just completed assembly machines, so we're basically at that point again. Uh, the thing I want to do now is I actually, we're going to make the miners right now, and we're going to actually make our uh, furnaces first because uh, I mean iron is a very limiting factor and one of the things I felt I did do properly was I uh, I kind of pussyfooted around uh, with the iron -ness. and uh, I think what we're going to do this time is we're going to just go all in right now so uh, let's we don't even have belts yet so this is kind of the this is this is the first set of changes that I'm making to this which is to actually make these uh, things come into fruition much sooner. Uh, so it means we're going to be manually feeding a little bit more than I anticipated. We're also getting turrets coming down the pipe as well. Uh, I don't know how much I need of these, though. Probably a little bit more, but yeah. As long as we keep feeding it, it's fine. So the idea is just to get one side of ten furnaces going, which is better than the six I have here. Uh, I don't know how many miners that actually requires, but that will basically be the gateway to us having a bunch more stuff, so. Like that. Yeah, like this. And we don't have splitters or anything yet, so this is just uh, the reality of the situation, which is that, uh, can't split it off yet. What we can do is we can kind of do a mock splitting by doing this. Kind of do we can kind of split it off like that. Um, so like eventually we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll put this properly in. I figure this is actually probably a better solution to what I had originally planned. This way we're actually getting everything going, and then we'll go bring coal over here. Is it like uh, we just need this to get our uh, resources kind of started? Yeah, something like this, and then we can kind of just feed all these manually. This, of course, does mean that uh, the turrets are going to kick up real soon, but that's fine. Uh, sorry, the the. The biter's gonna come out after us. I mean, I don't mean turrets. I mean, the biter's gonna come after us, like, much faster. Alright, we're just gonna make sure that the this science continues. So yeah, this is this is a pretty big... Uh, this is a pretty big change that, I, that I'm making to this, because I've just... I've deemed it that I think we need a little bit more iron than that. Alright. And then we get this going. So this is the first major change. So now we have a row of furnaces going, like pretty much immediately as soon as it was ready. So that's 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 a positive thing. It means I can start changing some of this stuff around. 
do want to have like some of this stuff around, but yeah. Alright, let's do this. Uh, let's see. Okay, turret's finished. Uh, oh yeah, so gun turret damage is here. It was just required green, green science before. Alright, we need to start working on that. Um, and the other thing I was going to do... I did want to immediately start making ammunition though. Uh, I wanted to kind of make it over here. I'm trying to debate if there's like a better way of me doing this. Maybe I'll just make it over here. Doesn't need to be a crazy amount of ammo. This needs to be some. Something like this. Uh, yeah, this is too much. There we go. Goes straight into a sewing machine making ammunition. Puts it into a box. There is no reason for me to change that out at any point. But yeah, these will go for a little bit. Um, I probably should also consider to... Yeah, see, this is also not enough um, miners as well. Oddly enough, but we can now make like tons of them, so I mean, it's not really a big issue. That's interesting. So like basically like five work does like one level of this stuff, so it's kind of neat. So we need like ten miners. I don't I, I don't actually have the ratios for that necessarily down. If there are ratios for it, uh, is there? We need more copper. But this is this is the first major change: is to basically uh, first disconnect the ammo from the main line, and then we do this. All right, now we're gonna start focusing on t gun turrets because uh, I think I've overstayed my welcome. Now I know there's gonna be a couple people who are like basically gonna kind of backseat me and basically go like, "Oh, hey, you could have." You know, done less pollution, they wouldn't have attacked you. Um, and I, there was already one guy kind of doing that. No, it's it's okay, but... Um, uh, I have played this scenario several times, and so I, I know kind of what works and what doesn't work. Um, as I said, I've, I've... Yeah, there you go, just in time, too. And I, I know that you cannot do this scenario by simply pussyfooting around and going like, oh, you know... Maybe if I don't do pollution, maybe that maybe they'll leave me alone. No, they're not going to leave you alone. They never leave you alone. Sad story. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to do something like this. Oops. Yeah, that's good enough. Fuck it. Really, I don't have enough belts. As I said, the plan is to take it off the the line eventually. That should that should handle the last two there. We don't have to concern ourselves too much with this stuff. All right, more turrets. I think I made one more. Yeah, I did. Which ammo did I put into this? Okay, we ran out of power. Uh, not completely unforeseen, but that's okay. I guess the next turret goes here. Okay, it doesn't need that much. So they don't attack me too much, but they're not they're definitely not happy with that, what I've done here, so. They don't like they don't like my masterpiece. But yeah, since uh we've we're using much more power, it's actually sucking through this really really quickly now. Uh which the the solution is probably just to make a a belt with with uh sorry, a a box that it comes from. Um it's probably the best solution. Let's see if any of this needs some more. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright. We'll keep this going for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna see how fast I can scale this all up, because that's interesting to me. I not have a box, I do have a box. There we go. Alright, now we need to start working on better miners. But luckily since I have this, uh we're we're actually in the and pretty good actually now. This is this is this is why I did this because instead of having six, I now have ten of these working. 
And like obviously there's gonna be another row of them. Um, like basically like this. I'm also gonna take it easy on the copper production as well. You can just make all of that actually. Then we gotta work on the walls. And yeah. So instead of like auto feeding the the steam engine, I'm now I'm manually feeding them instead uh, all the all the stuff that needs coal. I figure that's actually much better opposed to because this this lets us make more miners. Like cause, dude, like the amount of the amount of resources that this stuff needs, like in terms of like coal, is ridiculous. Coal is actually the the the, the huge problem with this. Alright. Uh, did, did I, oh, I only made one more. Okay. This is gonna be the second line, and obviously we're gonna need more miners to to accomplish that. But the plan is that we're gonna have our science stuff over up here, and then and then yeah, we're pretty good. So I'm just showing you the difference between what I've done here. Primarily with uh, how I've decided to uh, belt everything instead. Uh, let's see. Can't see shit because it's dark. We're also running out of poles. Bad. Fuck this thing seriously in the way. I, I don't like this now. <laughs> so I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to power this down here, except I ran out of belts, so we're going to just bring that all back. So manually feeding these is still, I think, the best idea. Looks like that guy's running out of uh, juice as well. How are we doing for this stuff? Alright. Probably can get a couple of these radars going, but yeah. Oh, hey. I realized that the copper was right here. Alright. Now, now it's going here, and yeah, I'll split it off up here, and all that kind of jazz that you expect. This, this copper mine is going to annoy me, because it's, it's in the way. I actually should have moved this down a little bit. I mean, we still actually have that opportunity to do that. Nah, actually, we'll just we'll just put the new ones like over here somewhere. It's okay. No one's gonna think of me any less after when they do. As you can see, once again, iron plates are the issue. But yeah, is there science stuff for some reason? No, oh, it's uh, actually going strong. Put some more in here, put some more iron plates. And you're gonna notice a huge difference with how fast we actually get everything up and running. It's gonna be pretty good. Uh, we need more turrets actually. Totally need more turrets. Need two more. I'm gonna need one to protect here and then one somewhere else. Actually, we're gonna put these a little bit closer together. For one reason, one reason only. That is that the game hates me. Alright, let's go up here. How much more ammo do we have? That's pretty good. Pretty acceptable amount. There we go, we got tons of this shit too. So we're actually using utilizing still most of the burner drills, actually. It kind of just works out that way. And like as I said, we're we're actually doing very nice for some of the stuff. Alright. It looks like I, I, I'm gonna assume that that's just some attack wave that came over, so we're gonna just ignore that. It's pretty good. So it's mostly that we're defending our pollution buildings right now. I'm actually surprised they haven't swung by our furnaces yet and tried to destroy that. That's what this is for. Uh, do I not? Oh, wait, here we go. So 
So already a big difference. I, I, I don't think there's a way I can tell you how much time I've done it, but you've kind of seen the, I hope, the fast forward thing. I don't know how I've edited this. I, I assume I fast forwarded it so you can get most of the uh, most of the fun stuff I've been doing in, in, in here, so. So like immediately, as I said, like it's I always find iron to be the most limiting factor whenever I work on factories like this. Um, so, especially for expensive mode. Uh, so that's kind of why we're gonna do what we do. All right, let's start working on walls. All right, we need splitters galore. Probably one of these two. Probably should just. Take down some some of these and make these at the end. Yeah, now this thing will feed itself as much as it wants to. We're gonna need another row though in a sec. Or something. Alright. Obviously we're gonna need more stone furnaces at some point. Particularly the work on the copper stuff. Like, there's a little bit of a patch up here, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I, it, I'm either going to bring that ore down or something else. It's probably going to be me bringing that ore down. Alright. So now we go... Start this off. By the way, so the, uh, the thing I was complaining about last time, which was the fact that the... Um, the miners were not appropriately splitting things off. Uh, sorry, like like this. I have figured out the solution, and it will only be a problem once I get to uh, the next level of uh, the, the next level of smelters. So we actually don't have to concern ourselves too much with it right now. Oh, really? I ran out of ran out of uh, belts. Let's make some of these, these, and then make the miners. So I, it is, while it was a problem, it didn't actually become a problem until much later, which I, I did realize, and then I actually played around with it off screen to see what to do with it, and then uh, and then I, I solved it. It's not fun still to, to have to deal with that, because it's like, it's annoying. Uh, you're always, you're hoping that you know it's just it, it's a problem with belt optimizations which eventually will get fixed uh, just not now I guess all right so these are going pretty smoothly in uh, we need to now work on some other stuff so that's pretty much it for that um, so th that should give you a better idea of how I'm planning this out so I guess back to fast forwarding stuff I'm gonna start immediately actually working on our science stuff and uh, probably get our uh, uh, wall stuff going too. All right, guys, things are going pretty well. I'm uh, a little bit f more forward. Let me just ch tell you the evolution. All right, point oh eight. Um, so I've just gotten some better red science going. Uh, that's where I've pretty much just stopped. I have um, a couple of these things. I've just started making walls everywhere. Um, so our science is, so we don't have smelters yet um, for copper, but I mean, I have no qualms with just manually feeding it anyway, so, you know, just kind of how it's going right now. Uh, but this is essentially what I've done, is to, to basically try and speed up the process. Um, so that's kind of the way this is going, and I ran out of walls here, so I'm going to put this over here. That's our defense over there, this is out of ammo, so we're going to have to fix that up real fast. Um, so far, run's looking a little better, uh, but I guess we'll still have to see. Uh, I'm definitely thinking about making some smelters now, let me tell you that. Or uh, copper. I'd probably just take it from over here. Uh, let's get... I don't think I need another turret or two, but we need more science things. Actually, all of these. Probably up here. Right there, because I think they're going to just come for the pollution source anyways. So this is where the pollution is coming from, so might as well. 
We also need to get them coming around the river as well. Whoops. Alright. Not too shabby. Alright, so I just wanted to show you yeah, that I have a little bit of science going. And they're starting to press up their attacks. And this is mostly because of the amount of pollution we have going on. I can guarantee you that right now. It's the pollution that's doing it, really nothing else. But we're going to get bullet damage and stuff, and then we're going to go... I mean, it seems a bit odd, given how much I have here right now. Um, and we're still relatively early, but their attacks correlate directly to the amount of pollution you have. So I, I usually like getting green chips up before doing this, but we did it in another way. Because of science. Yeah. Like, I actually think this is going a little bit faster. Because, like, uh... I mean, it's mostly time that's the factor right now for my pollution, not nothing else, so. Uh, anyways, yeah, so carrying on, uh, I'm going to continue here, and I'm going to make some green chips now, so. Or actually, not green chips, but uh, some furnaces for uh, copper, and probably I'm going to take it from up there. Alright, we just got green chips working. Pretty good shit. Probably need a bit more copper, maybe. Uh, probably not now. But yet another important milestone. And as you can see, this has been basically going the entire time. Uh, and now we have... Well, I mean, this is getting wounded occasionally. Which sucks. I'm going to probably just move it up slightly. Pretty sure we see a nest over there, but I mean, there's not much we can do about that right now. Alright. Just don't, don't want them attacking my science stuff. Also didn't get an SMG yet, but that's okay. Uh, so as soon as this automation finishes, we're probably just going to go straight to automation 2. Don't see a reason to do anything else with that. I mean, everything else is going at a pretty decent pace. There we go. We've done it. Um, so, shooting speed... No, we need steel now. I do this crap all the way. I mean, we'd make chips slightly faster if we had more copper, uh, which may not actually be the worst idea in the, in, on the planet. Uh, we we got to get it from over there, though. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get that now. Power's still good. So as you can see, we're still doing pretty good here. Uh, let's get this going a little bit faster. Uh, it looks like we have, we can probably use another furnace line as well for iron, but I think I'm gonna, I, I, I'm, I was thinking of just tapping into this one immediately, but maybe I won't. I uh, know I probably will actually tap into that one immediately. So I'm gonna have to move all this stuff around. Because, yeah, as soon as we get steel furnaces, then we have another, we have a completely new problem. Um, so, yeah. What are you going to do? See yeah, how this stuff's going. Alright, wall's still being made. We have a full chest of them. So since we're going into steel processing, I still don't see the reason to actually remove the walls. I want to get some more chips. It's, that's actually the issue right now, is it's not getting enough uh, copper coming into there. Probably can use like another... I'll probably just use the rest of this, honestly. I don't, I don't think I'll have an issue with that. I don't have any problems just using the rest of that. Alright, now to somehow tap it into that. Uh huh. These are things we don't plan for. These are definitely some things we don't plan for. 
Actually, we can just do this. <laughs> Where's my, uh... Oh. Splitters. Fuck, I didn't mean to use that one. Maybe something actually like this. You know what? That's fine. I don't even need a splitter for that. I don't even know what I'm what I'm doing. Oh. We actually, we probably need two more over that. Though. Actually, I have two more. So, bonus for me. I just think to myself, I need slightly more, and then we have it. So this is uh, this is enough. Um, copper. Like, this is actually a little bit more than I pr was planning on making, but you know what? I figured we might as well. Let's just check my ammo. Okay, that's almost out. I have like 200 rounds on me right now, so that's all good. So, you can see we're kind of back to... Uh, kind of something similar to where we were at before, but as I said, we've been actually doing this a lot faster. And we're just about to go for green science. So, no problems yet. Uh, I, I mean, the next problem is d definitely going to be on the on the realm of uh, how to deal with green, uh, getting the iron that we so desperately need. There you go. So I, I haven't quite decided how I'm going to deal with that, but I guess we'll see all in due time. Yeah, so now this should raise my copper up a little bit. Let's do let's do this right now. We have five machines right now. But luckily I have an abundance of resources on the line here. Let's do this will make things much faster and we're just gonna plan this out right now it's gonna be our green science we're gonna try and do the actual proper ratios to start and see where we can go from there so all we technically need is two machines I mean, I can just do it the same way I did the last time, which was not actually that bad. I'm, 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 I'm heavily considering this actually. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just do it the way I kind of did last time. Cause I actually kind of like that. I mean, it did this weird squiggly thing, but that's fine. Cause, uh, I mean, if you're triggered, I don't, I don't really care. All right, so we got ourselves inserters. Got ourselves that, and you've seen me do this before, so once again I will spare you and will not show you, so... Or at least speed it up, whatever, bye. Alright guys, so I've kind of reached an interesting point-ish. Um, Wait, that's not needed, it is needed, alright. Um, so, I've now tapped into more mining. Uh, right here. And, let's see where I sit at now, so... More iron is coming down the pipe now. Uh, probably not as much as we need, though. Definitely doing much better, though, than we were earlier. Uh, let's see here. I think, like, two more miners, and then maybe it'll be good. Let's think, well, I mean, yeah, this is getting backed up, and this is sort of getting backed up, so we'll see. Uh, and, then, and then, yeah, we should be in good shape. So... Uh, I'm just getting on, I, I just basically was doing a bit of steel, um, let's see what else we got, I can tell you. It's going good, I would say. Going good, I'm just trying to mine out the little corner there. Um, how's my power situation? So yeah, power is just, uh, now we need more boilers. Get another boiler out. So yeah, I just up I upgraded my iron, which is like this huge problem that I, I was just having now. Now gears are kind of like the limiting factor now, so it's like never ending, uh, finding like which, which things are problematic. That's good. 
So right after advanced material process, uh, so I'm probably going to start heading right now for this. There's some guys here. Uh, we actually need to make some turrets over here, I think. Probably just to defend over there. Uh, like, generally speaking, this is so far going better. Like, they're attacking, but uh, timing-wise, I think I'm doing better. Uh, hopefully. We'll see. Uh, I'm, I may have to deeply reconsider what I'm doing here. Because I basically now got uh, a lot of this stuff out now. I need more ammunition though. So I got I got I unhooked this thing temporarily. And now I'm gonna hook it back up again. Because I now just reached 1.0, which was pretty much it's about at 2.2 or something that that they start spawning random garbage at me. So now uh, that's the time I have to be careful. We're doing pretty good for walls right now, too. I've walled everything off that I possibly can. Yeah, the, the play now is to actually start defending that. So... Uh, this may be an issue. Maybe I need to do something like this. Uh... Because I'm kind of not taking it in here, but you know what I can actually do? Ammunition can actually be moved up here somewhere. Uh, probably like right here. I'll just start eating it off of here. There you go. It's a much better ammunition line. It's gonna have access to everything that it needs to have all the time. So that's good. Is there some reason why this isn't... Oh, it's not getting gears. Well, that's why we kind of are attempting to move things around. Because we are aware of this issue. And we're getting it going. But yeah, you can kind of see that, like, I think things are going better. Uh, obviously, I can't know for sure. So we're going to get more. Obviously, having the steel processing over here is not good. I mean, if I'm smart, I'll start making a place for it right now. That will be more permanent. Uh, but the thing is, we want our steel production facilities to be made out of the new ones, so, you know, that's also kind of a thing. Yeah, that's probably why I should just go right now and... Because uh, that's usually what I do. I actually do a little bit later than that. Just occurred to me. I know why I do it, because we, we need to get... Because the, the steel requires so much iron, it's just not... It's not fun. <laughs> so, uh, that's kind of why I actually do it this way. It looks like these are now backed out, so that's good. That's good. So yeah, we're going to start heading over there then. So that's kind of where I left off right now. Um, I want to take a little bit of a break, so hopefully... I, I'm not sure how many episodes this has become or how I did this, but, you know... I guess we'll see, won't we? I have to now edit this shit like that. So let's just double check on the ammunition supplies. Good. Yeah, that's how big they are right now, the, the attacks. Probably should heal that up, actually, before I go. Yeah, I'm going to start focusing on electronic circuits. Actually, did I? I actually made steam engines. I was doing in the middle of doing that. I've been just kind of explaining how things have been going. It's essentially been the same thing. Uh, I've just been doing it faster. It's good. So I heal up these guys. I've actually been good. I haven't been actually managing the turrets that much, so... Like I said, the, the attacks are intense, but that has nothing to do with evolution factor. Evolution factor only affects like how difficult they are. It doesn't affect uh, how, how often they come. How often they come is purely dictated upon how much pollution you're throwing their way, you know. But I'm kind of, I, I am pleased with how this is going so far. Alright, that should be good. This one cold patch should still be good for now. It should still be good for now. Let's see if we can see what's out here. So we already know that the stone is right there. That's the secondary patch. 
Uh, copper, uranium. Yeah. So we have an iron patch, luckily, and we also have oil right beside us. So we all we don't have to tap into either of those. Those are kind of just already around us. That's very very positive, believe me. This is uh been a difficult experience, let me tell you, but at least uh, I've had time to focus this, so. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot for tuning in, guys, and uh, uh, see you next time. Goodbye.